Are you using Pi-hole with Unbound? Do you want to take it to the next level and use Cloudflare with Pi-hole and Unbound? Well, stay tuned and I'm going to show you how. Welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Run Nutter, your home for all things relating to smart home technology. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to use Pi-hole, Unbound, and Cloudflare all in combination to keep your DNS traffic safe. All of this without touching anything on your network. That's out of your Raspberry Pi. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and we're going to be working on this together. This content is also available as an Amazon flash briefing or podcast. Please go to techbyteswithrunnutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in this episode, there are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small collision that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. Now, here's what we're going to be covering. First, we're going to talk about review of Pi-hole and Unbound. There's a little bit of a history here. I want to make sure we all get around on the same page. Then we're going to talk about configuring Cloudflare to work with Pi-hole and Unbound, and then showing you to how to make sure that everything is up and running. Well, if you've been watching my series so far of Pi-hole and the different ways that you can use it in terms of having your own uh, caching DNS server, blocking ads and so on, there's a little bit of history of this and why I'm doing yet now this video of it. I initially found that I had a whole lot more DNS requests going out on my internet connection than I had first thought I did. Well, then I put Pi-hole in and, and that made it better, but I wanted to take it to the next step and have the DNS request be a little more private. Well, I initially went to the Cloudflare client and, and it worked great, except I had one minor problem. A couple of channels on my streaming receivers were not working correctly. They kept like, acting like they were timing out. They would just suddenly stop playing. Well, at that point, I said, well, let's go process of elimination. And I took off the Cloudflare client and then went to Unbound. And Unbound had a, a good advantage to it in that now I'm caching more of those requests where with the Cloudflare, it was still going out. So I really, I was making things safer, but I hadn't improved it better. But with Unbound, I was doing that. And the performance on my streaming receivers improved noticeably, but I wanted to make it even safer. Even though now I'm still minimizing the amount of outbound request, I wanted to make sure that things were safe and secure. So that's where we're up to now. So let's go ahead and get things started and we'll make this as easy as we can. Okay, well now we're on the Raspberry Pi that's running Pi-hole. And I've already got it logged in. So we're going to take a couple of steps here to be ready for the change. First, we're going to switch over to ETC. Unbound, if I can spell here. Unbound.d. Oh, okay. I had it almost right. There's an additional directory that we've got to step through that I'm just not remembering it correctly. Okay. Unbound conf. Okay. So we'll do unbound conf.d. Now, this is what was set up based on the way I installed Unbound. It did all that directory structure for me. Now, you can see I've already got several files out here, and, and this will be explained here directly. The file that you always want to make sure that you make a backup of before you make any changes, because this is the easiest way to recover back from it, is the pihole.conf file. So we'll just do sudo, and we have to do that because this is in a directory with restricted rights. CP for copy, and we'll do pihole.conf, and then we'll just call it pihole.conf.back. Now, we've made a backup of the directory, so we're good to go in case something happens. Now, the next thing we want to do is I've already got some of the configuration pre-built, so I'm going to switch over here. Well, first, we're gonna, I'm going to move the file over. And this is just to make things a little bit easier. All this is going to be in the description for the video. So pihole.conf.dot, and we'll just call it pihole.conf. 
Now we've got that. Now we want to go through and do a quick look here just so that you can see what I did. And I did this just because to, you didn't need to see me moving a lot of stuff back and forth on the screen. Now we'll go down here on the bottom. Now I added this at the very bottom and it has been working fine. There may be some other ways to do it, but again, this is what has worked well for me. Now unbound in its configuration as you get it with the way we downloaded it in the last video, you only get support for DNS over TLS or DOT. So it's not being masked into 443, but you're at least getting some security. And I'm looking on a way to doing DOH or DNS over HTTPS, but that involves a little more typing at the keyboard and some custom compiling. So I'm that, that one's yet to come. So to get this to work, all you have to do is just paste these lines in this section down here. And we've got it pointed to Cloudflare to do final DNS resolution. Now, see, we haven't changed anything in terms of Cloudflare's configuration in Pile. So really, this is just a very minor change in the scheme of things. So we will exit out here. And we'll do sudo. Well, let's before I do that, and I hit the wrong keys on the keyboard again, we will go over here and I'm going to open up Chrome just to show you that it's uh, that we're not uh, our DNS information is not being protected. So we're not connected to Cloudflare and we're not going to get DNS over TLS. So that's, that's fine. I just want to have that there for a comparison. So what we'll do is we'll, now that we've copied over my file where you saw the DOT configuration is we will then just do sudo service unbound restart. Now that should be set to go. So what we're going to do just to make sure that we've in fact have restarted, we'll just go down here to repeating the command and just change restart to status. If you know down here at the very bottom, and let me get that out of the way, you will see that Unbound has restarted. Now we'll switch back over here. Get to, get to find the, the right button to do it. Now we've already got this up on the screen. So we'll just simply refresh the browser and see, now we're connected to Cloudflare and we're doing DNS over TLS. Now, I mentioned a little earlier that I'm trying to get DNS over HTTPS to work. The information that's out there is very uh, vague from what I would want to have to be able to present this to everybody here. So I'm working on that one, but this at least gets you to a triple winner in terms of You've got Pi-hole blocking the ads. You've got Unbound functioning as a caching DNS server. So you're minimizing what DNS queries have to leave the network. And then for the icing on the cake, we were linking to Cloudflare over DNS over TLS so that we're putting a little bit of uh, masking in there, for lack of a better word, on the DNS inquiry. So somebody who's watching is just going to see encryption going on and they're not going to be able to see specifics so just trying to offer a little bit more of an option and this is basically going to take you to where if you did the previous video and i'll put a, a link on the screen so that if you didn't see that one you can take that one go through that whole setup process if you haven't set this up and then make this one minor change and then you've really got the best of both worlds. The one thing I still want to do is try to work up a way where I can make it very painless to use DNS over HTTPS with Unbound. If you're watching this on YouTube, you will see videos on the screen that are similar to the one you've just watched or other content that YouTube thinks you might be interested in. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.